During the height of the pandemic all last year, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, was doing these live press update events. He won an Emmy for this. People were praising him to such a degree there were conversations around whether or not Governor Andrew Cuomo would jump into the presidential race as a last minute entry on the Democratic ticket. Democrats were singing his praises. Meanwhile, Ron DeSantis, the evil villain, the, the, the awful man who's ruining Florida. Terrible governor, they said. Yet when you look at Florida's COVID rates, when you look at New York's, something terrifying was happening. New York was basically the epicenter for some time. Well, now Democrats are turning on Andrew Cuomo. In fact, they're calling for an investigation of him. They're slamming him as a liar. And it turns out we learned this just recently. Andrew Cuomo covered up thousands of COVID deaths in nursing homes that he caused. He's a murderer. And I will say that once again for you all to hear. Andrew Cuomo murdered thousands of people. In fact, some Democrats are calling it the nursing home massacre. I'll tell you what happened. A ship, a large medical naval vessel was sent to New York to help with the COVID pandemic. It was ignored. Yet they attack Donald Trump and say it was his fault. The Javits Center, a large convention center in New York, was converted into an emergency field hospital. It was mostly unused. I believe only ever reaching 30% capacity. Governor Cuomo decided the appropriate place to put sick COVID patients, not the medical vessel, not the Javits Center. They believed, Cuomo believed, the appropriate place was nursing homes. Not everybody who was sent there was an elderly person. That's my understanding. Andrew Cuomo sent sick patients literally into the place we needed to protect. Everyone agreed the elderly must be protected. They're the most vulnerable. So why did Cuomo, defying all logic, do this? Why did he say, no, we won't use the actual medical vessel? We won't use the Javits Center. No, stick them in with those who are most likely to die from this. Either the man is extremely mentally unfit and unwell, or it's simple. He killed these people. He chose to do it. I can't, I can't tell you his intent. I'd be willing to make the accusation he wanted them dead because he's a sick, psychotic piece of human trash. I can't think of any sane or logical reason as to why he'd say, I'm not using that medical ship. Now I'm going to put the sick people in the nursing homes. He's not the only one who did it. Several other governors did as well. So what happened? Well, when Cuomo and his staff realized that Donald Trump was going, was, was potentially going to be investigating, that there was a DOJ investigation on the horizon, they decided not to release the numbers and cover up the true amount of deaths in these nursing homes. Well, nothing's going to save Cuomo now. Perhaps it was that many Democrats just didn't say anything at the time because they were worried it would help Donald Trump. That's actually some of the speculation. There were fears among Democrats that if they called out Cuomo for murdering these people in the nursing home massacre, that Donald Trump would use it and could win. A lot of elderly voters would panic and then vote for Trump. So they kept the numbers under wraps. Well, Donald Trump has lost. Joe Biden is president and Cuomo's usefulness has expired. And now he's being targeted even by Democrats, some who are calling for an investigation. And some, well, let's just put it this way. The man deserves prison. I am not exaggerating. He should be in prison. I come from Illinois, Chicago. I think the last three governors previous to this one all went to prison. So how about it? The New York Post reports Democrats slam lying Cuomo over COVID-19 nursing home cover up. Fellow Democratic legislators in New York weren't buying Governor Andrew Cuomo's explanation Monday as to why he refused four months to release a true accounting of nursing home residents who died from COVID. Assemblyman Ron Kim of Queens, whose uncle died from COVID, bluntly said all of it is BS and a cover up. They could have given us the information back in May and June of last year. They chose not to, Kim said, after hearing Cuomo was blaming the Department of Justice probe for delays in releasing the accurate coronavirus death tally of nursing home residents. Cuomo cited an exclusive August 26, 2020 story in the Post that broke the news about the DOJ inquiry into his administration's nursing home administration policy and the undercounting of deaths, claiming Albany legislators should have known about the problem based on the report. 
Kim said lawmakers could have passed the laws to tighten up accountability and liability in nursing homes to save lives if they had the information sooner. Kim also said Cuomo's comments Monday don't square with what top aide Melissa DeRosa told him and other legislators during a private meeting last week. When she said former President Donald Trump made the issue a political football and claimed that as an excuse for withholding the nursing home data, the Post first reported on her explosive remarks after obtaining an audio recording of the meeting. And basically, we froze, DeRosa said. She talked about the potential that the information would be weaponized against them. DeRosa needs to be accountable for what she said, Kim insisted. She implicated all of us in this cover up. DeRosa on Friday issued a statement mirroring what the governor said Monday that the administration was dealing with federal probers before it could release more detailed nursing home data to state legislatures and the public data. Meanwhile, State Senator Alessandra Biaghi, a Democrat from the Bronx, challenged Cuomo's assertion that his team informed lawmakers that it would delay release of nursing home fatality data because of the federal probe. No, Cuomo, you did not tell the entire Senate or Assembly that there was a DOJ investigation as the reason why you didn't share the nursing home numbers, Biaghi said in a tweet. I found out about a DOJ investigation with the rest of New Yorkers in the New York Post story Thursday night. State Senator Julius Salazar, a Democrat from Brooklyn, claimed Cuomo was lying. If the governor had actually informed the legislature months ago that his office was withholding the data they had on total nursing home deaths, there would have been no need for them to have a call with a group of legislators last week to inform them of this the first time. Governor can claim that they've withheld the data because they thought it would be used against them by the DOJ. But claiming they informed the legislature is a lie on top of a lie. If he'd been honest in the first place, he may have had one bad news cycle. But now think about that. He withheld the data on the thousands of people he murdered because political reasons. Talk about the most duplicitous, scumbaggery, vile, evil we have heard in a long time. Andrew Cuomo killed thousands of elderly people. Why? Orange man bad? I guess it's one of the most infuriating stories because just what's what's going to happen? I mean, part of me is, 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 is relieved to some degree that Democrats are calling him out. Maybe this man can rot in prison for the rest of his life. But I'm willing to bet that corrupt pieces of trash like Cuomo will get away with it. State Senator John Liu of Queens, a Democrat, also said the federal probe wasn't an excuse for months and months of delays in misleading or withholding information the public deserves to know. He said he will back legislation curbing the governor's emergency powers because of Cuomo's fumbling of the nursing home issue. Fumbling. Fumbling. Why were they put there? We've long talked about what we have to do to reopen on the left and the right. And protecting the vulnerable is always the most important thing. And that is the elderly. You will not be able to convince me of any sane and logical reason as to why Cuomo said, take these sick people and put them right next to in the same building with the vulnerable, because we know COVID spreads indoors. We know it. So why did he do it? Because he is a psychopathic piece of human garbage. Cuomo's office hid nursing home COVID data out of fear of Trump administration. The admission came in a September conference call with legislatures, leg legislators. Well, it's about time for the investigation. New York Democrats are calling for a uh, Governor Cuomo to be subpoenaed and investigated over his administration's cover up of its dismal handing, handling of nursing home coronavirus deaths. Last week, reports broke that a top aide, so this we know, Representative Ant Antonio Delgado, a Democrat represent representing parts of the Hudson Valley in the House, called Sunday for a probe into Cuomo's handling of the state's data on coronavirus nursing home deaths. I just I just can't take it. Is that it? Is that it? Can we get an investigation into why he had this policy in the first place? Can we get an investigation into all of the other governors? Here's a quote. First, let me read this segment from from ABC. Sources tell ABC News that Albany lawmakers will begin discussing whether to strip Cuomo of some of his emergency powers in the aftermath of the revelation. It's unclear whether the leaders of either the Assembly or the Senate would be on board with such a move. Quote, he starts tweeting that we killed everyone in nursing homes, DeRosa said of Trump on the conference call recording. 
a transcript of which was provided by DeRosa to ABC News. He starts going after New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. He starts going after California Governor Newsom, starts going after Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. He directs the Department of Justice to do an investigation into us. And basically we froze because then we were in a position where we weren't sure if what numbers we were going to give to the DOJ or what we give to you guys was going to be used against us. We weren't sure if there was going to be an investigation. It wasn't just Cuomo. It was Phil Murphy. I believe it was Pennsylvania, but you know, Newsom, Whitmer. Can you explain to me why they decided to put sick people into nursing homes? You remember the story? A young man with COVID was put into a nursing home in Detroit and then mercilessly beat one of the residents there mercilessly. And it was filmed. We live, we, 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 we have truly despicable and psychotic individuals in positions of power. We need law and order. We need absolute uh, uh, justice in this, you know, well, well, well let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me calm that one down and say, we need an investigation. We need clear evidence. We need a trial and we need these governors, namely Cuomo, to rot in prison for every single person they killed. They, sh- they, they cannot be allowed to get away with this. Part of me thinks they will. That's, that's, that's the sad reality. They go on to mention in the, in the Yahoo News story, many of the same Democrats that I've already referenced calling for investigations. Maybe there will be one. But, uh, you know, as of late, I've been listening to that song, Everybody Knows by Leonard Cohen, because Everybody knows that the, you may have heard me reference it to a bit in a segment yesterday. Everybody knows that the dice is loaded and everybody rolls with their fingers crossed. It's the first line from the song. Everybody knows. We know that these people are corrupt. We know uh, from the news now, from numerous stories, that Cuomo is responsible and these other governors as well. We also know that the dice are loaded. So we can sit here with our fingers crossed hoping that someone, anyone will step up and remove these murderers, these murderers. I'd love to swear right now, but we keep things family friendly here. I want to see Cuomo. I want to see a perp walk. I want to see him led out of his office in handcuffs. I want to see him face trial. I want to see him look into the eyes of everybody who lost a loved one. There are some high profile personalities. Janice Dean mentioned that her in-laws died in nursing homes. One person threw a banner down over a bridge in New York that said, Cuomo killed my mom. This guy is slime. His brother is slime. His brother faked quarantine, faked being locked down, and CNN facilitated it. And while this is all going on, Cuomo's getting an Emmy nomination. We have some absolutely evil things happening in this country. And there better be a a DOJ investigation. But like I said, you know, the poor get poor, the rich stay rich. Everybody knows, right? So what's going to happen with Cuomo? Well, let's be a little bit optimistic, I suppose. Democrats are calling him out. He can't hide from this one. This, is, this needs to be one of the, this is one of the most important things we've seen in a long time. And, and again, not just Cuomo. We need a DOJ investigation into Whitmer, Newsom, Murphy, and Cuomo. Cuomo, you can be the poster boy for this one. He needs to absolutely face justice. Wall Street Journal reports that Cuomo is slipping in the polls as criticism mounts over nursing home deaths. Cuomo is taking heat after officials said coronavirus related deaths in nursing homes and similar facilities were 50 percent higher than previously reported. Why did he order sick people into these nursing homes? And why won't the media just say it like it is? He murdered them. He did. Seems like most regular people agree. Most of the working class, most of the proletariat, the plebs, whatever you want to call it, they agree. But I guess as much as the Democrats are calling him out, knowing that this story is going to shock people to their core, they're going to still protect him to some to some degree. Here's the important question. Ron DeSantis, Florida took the exact opposite approach to New York in handling COVID positive patients. DeSantis has been hailed for protecting Florida's large elderly population throughout the pandemic. I want you to think about this. Florida is the place where people retire. It's famous for it with a large elderly population. So how is it that New York was worse? Cuomo made the decision to send these people, sick people, into the nursing homes. 
That was his choice. DeSantis said, let's not do that. Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis said Monday that his state did the exact opposite of Cuomo. DeSantis, who had been widely praised for protecting Florida's elderly population, told Tucker Carlson tonight that his administration considered taking care of nursing home residents the tip of the spear in terms of handling the virus. Quote, we in Florida had the exact opposite order. We said you can't send a COVID positive nursing home resident back into the nursing home because that is the most vulnerable population and you obviously would put them at risk. But we also did after the first few weeks. We established COVID only nursing units. So if you had somebody test positive at a nursing home, they could be safely transferred and isolated so that the other residents were protected. We really view that as the tip of the spear when you're dealing with COVID because it is tending to kill people who are very elderly and very ill. How? It was so obvious. Anyone could have figured it out. Around mid to late March, we were all given models saying, you're not going to have any hospital beds in five days. Every governor got those models. I questioned the assumptions under those models. I didn't think that they were valid. And I said, I'm not going to construct our policy around that. But even if I was wrong, I would build more beds somewhere rather than throw these elderly people back into the fire of a nursing home where they could contaminate and infect a lot of people. So it was just an important judgment we were all called upon to make. And I think Florida did it right. And obviously other states took a different path. Other states. He was right. But I, but I, I, I want to stop right there. He mentions they were given this, this, this guidance saying hospitals would be full. Is that the reason why Cuomo, Murphy, and his other governors decided not to use their facilities? Is that why they decided to send these sick people back to nursing homes when they could have been transferred away? Why did Cuomo not use, what was it called, the Mercy, the large naval vessel that was brought, sent, deployed by Donald Trump? I believe there were two, one to LA and one to New York. Why didn't he use it? He had, he had the space. He could have put these people, he could have saved thousands of lives. I suppose from Cuomo's perspective, there was no upside. Donald Trump would be hailed a hero for deploying them. They'd be forced to thank him again. And Donald Trump's approval rating was skyrocketing at this time. He was doing his daily coronavirus press briefings, and he saw his highest aggregate approval rating of his presidency during this time period. If you were to ask me my opinion, I'd say Cuomo did not want Trump to get credit. I would say that all of these deaths in numerous states from the elderly was absolutely perfect for the narrative of these Democrats. I'm not saying they decided to kill these people because they hated Trump. I'm saying that they were concerned if they took Trump's you know, support, it would make Trump look good. So they were willing to risk as many lives as possible because Trump was bad. And what do we get? We end up with thousands, 13 or so thousand or more. And they could have just said, thank you, Mr. President. But that's not the country that we live in. So now what's happening? Well, much in the vein of all of this, we are getting uh, an impeachment trial of Trump, even though Trump is no longer the president. That wasted everyone's time. And now Nancy Pelosi says we need a 9-11 style commission looking over what happened on January 6th. Another waste of everyone's time because they don't have anything to offer. The only thing they can do is say Trump is bad. Their only unifying cause right now is Trump is bad. Does Nancy Pelosi agree with the progressives on the Green New Deal? Of course not. Medi uh, Medicare? No. Medicare for all? No. Universal health care? Absolutely not. She's pro foreign spending and mass spending. And is she going to get everyone a stimulus check? No. She's not aligned in any capacity. Well, for the most part, with the progressives on this one. The only thing she has to offer the people in this country uh, on the Democrat side is we all hate Trump. But that's not going to work. Trump isn't here anymore. He's not in the spotlight. He can't tweet. He's not posting. Yet still, the media is desperately attempting to talk about him. Here I am talking about them talking about him. Eventually, they're going to have to govern. That's going to be a big challenge because they have no unity. And that's it. I think that that, that, that really is the, the, the unifying factor of the traditional left in this country. And I don't mean leftists or progressives. I mean like, you know, the liberals, the establishment crony types and those who would support them blindly. The only thing that brings them together is hate. Hatred for Donald Trump, a man with no power, a man who has left, and they still, it's the only thing they have. They need something to hate. They, they'd be willing to let thousands of people die to continue that hate. And I think it's funny that the, the you go on Reddit and they'll say the same thing about Republicans, but I got to be honest, Republicans are not unified either. 
Republicans uh, are not unified under anything for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong. Both sides do have some unity in hating the other, but Democrats certainly take the cake. Mainstream establishment Republicans don't do anything. And Trump populists, many of them do just hate the left. They're not the biggest faction. In the end, I think you have many regular people who found themselves voting for Donald Trump. Many regular people. And to be honest, probably a lot of regular people somewhere in the middle voted for Joe Biden. And I think most of them are probably just now, you know, throwing up in their mouths a little bit with what's going on. There's, there's, there's no Trump to be mad at anymore. Where do we focus? The, uh, you know, uh, who, 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 do we, who do we point to when something go- has gone wrong? Well, the Republicans have lost power. Trump is out. And the Democrats basically have everything except the Supreme Court. And now it's their responsibility. In these states, it was always their responsibility. And look what they did. It makes you wonder when we can see this and we get this news, what else have they done in their desperate, desperate attempts at stopping Trump because they hate him so much? You know, these people, it's like the capital from the Hunger Games. They are a special privileged elite. They can do whatever they want. They're always going to be rich. The rich get rich. The poor get poor. They're going to go on American Idol after all of this. And I don't mean just the Democrats. I mean, all of them, the establishment elites, it's the Hunger Games, man. It's, it's the capital, the people who gorge themselves and then drink Epicac to barf it all up and then eat more. That's what you get. Well, I hope the investigation pulls forward for the sake of this country. And I hope they, that this, these governors face justice. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 1 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you all then.